Look, if you need help getting the ball up in the air, landing soft, and getting close to the pin, then these wedges are for you. If you want to score, you need to work on your wedge game, and your wedges need to have good grooves that are consistent and sharp and put a little bit of backspin on that ball. 2010 was the last year golf manufacturers could produce and sell sharp, square grooved wedges. On January 1st, 2011, it was game over. At that moment, two things became vital in wedge design, quality of material and durability. Let's have Jesse explain. Everybody knows that the more you practice, the better your short game is going to get. The problem is, with all the other wedges on the market, the more you practice, the more that face is going to wear down. And it's going to let you down on shots around the green. And that's why Jesse is very exacting when producing your clubs. New for 2011, Jesse has made the Bobby Jones wedges even easier to hit from tough positions around the green. I've given it what I call a J grind. I've narrowed the sole area at the heel left it normal in the middle, but then swept it away. You can see that I've cleaned out the toe. What that does is it gives you the opportunity to fan the blade open or closed a little bit, and it won't grab. The heel and toe won't grab around the green. With the USGA cutting down on the geometry of the score lines, you've got to impart the maximum amount of traction, and the only way you can do that is with a precision milled wedge. Let me show you the science behind what makes our wedges so special. We start out by using an exclusive steel alloy used in bearings that is very, very hard, very durable. It won't wear out. We mill that material with the proper face texture and then we mill in the score lines. Behind this face insert, we place a 3M membrane. It's a bonding membrane. What it does is it bonds the special face insert to the body. We then press the face insert into the body and the heads go into an oven for about an hour. During that hour, the 3M membrane releases an epoxy resin that creates a bond that's even stronger than welding. But once the head cools, the 3M membrane goes back to its slightly spongy elastic state. The result, you have incredible feel with incredible durability. It's the most wear resistant face in golf. You want your grooves to last, you want your backspin to stay with you, Bobby Jones. Now that you know that a sandblasted face doesn't do your short game any good, not all milled faces are the same. Ours has a unique milling pattern that reduces the side spin but increases backspin for better accuracy. Under a microscope, you'll see that the pattern of our face texture looks like the teeth of a chainsaw, grabbing the ball, giving you maximum traction. The new USGA regulations make it more important than ever to select a wedge that gives you season after season of peak spin performance. And that's the 2011 version of the Bobby Jones Wedge System, a system based on years of research by the man who has coached Masters winners and written the Bible on the short game, Dave Pelz. If you want to start out gently, if you want to kind of sneak into this system, try the 56, replace your sand wedge or compare it to your sand wedge, and the 60, compare it to your L wedge and see if you don't see the difference in performance off the grooves of these faces. Look, if you don't know if you have good or bad grooves, there are two easy ways to test it. Number one, if you hit good shots, clean, dry shots where you make good contact with the face and they don't have backspin on, the ball's not stopping on the green, you don't have good grip. Or if you want to test it, put your fingernail, listen to this. If your fingernails aren't catching in the edges of the grooves, they're probably worn down and rounded and they're not sharp enough. The nice thing about these grooves, they're made out of this special steel. I like to get out of the shop and interact with golfers out on the golf course. So we took Jesse out to beautiful 36-hole Robinson Ranch Golf Club in Santa Clarita, California, where we ran into golfers on the third hole of the mountain course. Now we're actually <laughs> shooting a, a segment for our show. I don't know if you guys watch the Golf Channel every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. If the only two elements that come in contact with the ball on the wedge isn't really the groove or the groove geometry, but really comes in contact, if you think about it, is the face texture and then the edge of that score line. So now the edges of the score lines have to be a little bit duller, which means that it's more important than ever to have an aggressive face 
and ours is the only one with an insert that won't wear out. So we talked these gentlemen into a five-minute trial with the Bobby Jones wedges. Brian Steiner, nine handicap. Tyler Costin, eight handicap. Sean Alexander, ten handicap. You know, the wedge felt real solid. Um, obviously with wedges, this feels everything. Yeah, and it came off um, like a blade, like a real, real solid, real solid feel off the face. How was the weight? Because you know, yeah, the weight was really nice. That's the one thing the first time I noticed. So is the weight? Pe yeah. People say that because Pels and I, you know, we believe that if the wedge is a little bit heavier, it slows you down yeah. a little bit, and you get a little bit more deliberate stroke through the ball. So mm -hmm. some people say, well, gee, it feels heavy, but you know, once you pick it up and you hit it, that weight actually it helps. Helps my tempo. It helps your tempo. Shot, yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. smooth. That's right. It helps I really tempo like the tempo. Weight. Yeah, the weight is, that's unusual. They are a little bit heavier, but once you get used to it, then you go to another wedge and it feels like you've got nothing in your hands. Yeah. I definitely uh, enjoyed the, uh, the tempo that it creates and the, the weight of the club. Um, I enjoyed the, the feel the most. I don't want to have to spend a, you know, another couple hundred bucks or so to, to replace my wedges yeah. in my bag. I want to be able to keep it for a long time and have it perform like, like it should.